Hi guys, this is Carmen for The New Happy Me and I am going to uh, give you a very, very quick tutorial on how to do a Google Plus Hangout. This is an incredible tool. It's free. All you have to do is open a Google Plus account and uh, it is a great way for you to show leadership when you have content to give to your audience. This is a way they are going to see you through the a webcam they're going to hear you and you're going to be able to interact with them as well and this is a way where you can invite a panel of experts panel of friends of team members however you wish to provide the content to your audience it's a great way to do that so here you have on my screen the Google Plus home page uh, make sure that your panelists are also uh, members of Google Plus they have their own accounts that's very important so here you have the home page right here all you have to do is go up here to the top right it says start a hangout don't worry about creating an event you can do this I'm going to show you how to uh, properly promote the hangout in a different way where you're going to be able to get the word out so start a hangout right there and it will open a window where you're going to set up your uh, hangout. So I'm just going to add a name. Uh, Kala is the person who asked me to do this tutorial. You can actually go and pick up the uh, individuals. Actually, no, uh, not drag them, but click on them. Um, so you can add as many hangout uh, members as you want to hang out with you, uh, your panel. So let's just close that I'm, I don't want to bother them today um, I am going to put on a um, here, hangout tutorial so that's the uh, title of your hangout you can put whatever you want there this enable hangouts on air is to enable your hangout to go live on YouTube so we want to do that uh, this uh, there's an explanation here this video will be broadcast both on your Google Plus stream and your YouTube channel which is great and I'm going to show you how to embed it on a different page as well to promote it so yes okay got it and we start the hangout so here uh, if you need to invite any other person you can invite them here on the top left uh, if anybody is having trouble getting in you can also use the invite people to uh, resend an invitation you can also send by email as well uh, if they are having trouble getting their invitations now usually here you would see my webcam image you won't see it now because I am uh, recording the tutorial at the same time but that's what you would see here uh, other important things on this menu here chat you see the chat here you can take it off you can bring it back on chat is what your panelists will see amongst themselves including you obviously you can message each other while the broadcast is live without your audience knowing what's going on if there's a problem if there's a microphone issue if someone wants to jump in if someone wants to go next they'll be able to um, write it down in the group chat the other important part is hangout toolbox the hangout toolbox includes the lower third don't bother with the lower third just go into hangout toolbox and there is this panel that's going to show on the right side now you may have another window that says allow access just allow access and go in and do this before the broadcast starts because otherwise if uh, you've already started and you want to get into the hangout toolbox and it needs to have access it'll break off your link uh, so do it before I usually open my hangouts about 30 minutes before I am set to start just to make sure that we take care of all these things say iron out all the technical difficulties and be ready for the time that we are scheduled for so hangout toolbox has this the lower third if it's not if it doesn't go straight there go straight there make sure that your lower third is off what the lower third is I'm actually going to show you what it looks like this is what it is it's your name and you can put any type of uh, image that you want uh, the color that you want you can have a flag you can have a logo whatever the bottom uh, we're going to see where that is uh, being put uh, where you can uh, type that up um, that's company name website name uh, whatever you want there that's a second line and you have a clock there which is pretty interesting when you have panelists from different time zones coming in so this is what the Google Plus hangout looks like on YouTube once it is displayed there so 
let's just go ahead. We have a lower third on off so that we can plug in what we want to plug in. So I will put the new happy me there. I can change my color here. I'll do something along the reds. Um, I can choose a file for my logo. I can select a country for um, a flag. I can display uh, the clock. Once I'm ready, all I have to do is on display the clock on. And you will see when you do this, you will have a mirror image. Uh, sometimes it gets confusing to see it that way. So right here below my image, below my webcam, you have mirror. So all you have to do is mirror my own video and you will see the other, the flip side. So once you have it on on, you're good to go. If you need to change anything, you just flip it, flip it back off, change it, flip it back on and you're good to go. So once you're ready, all you have to do is go back to chat. So when your um, in uh, when your guests come in, you will have their images on the bottom here. You see that here, all here on the bottom. That's pretty much how you see it on your uh, back office. Uh, in the Google Hangout. So you're going to see them like this on the bottom. What's important for you to know is that, first of all, you have to tell all of your panelists to mute themselves when they're not talking because background noises will get in the way. And as a host, what you, you will have to do is when someone talks, click on their image below to have their big image appear on top because it doesn't seem to be doing it automatically all the time. So what you have to do when sp someone is speaking, just click on their image and you will have uh, their their uh, photo up on top. Someone else starts talking, you click on their image and their, Im their uh, webcam will appear on top. It makes it a lot cleaner for your Hangout, a lot more smooth for your audience. So you have to always, uh, as a Hangout host, you have to, to um, really be present in what's going on, uh, really engaged in making it go smoothly and um, coordinating all that. So uh, here, I'm just going to let you know here, you have webcam on off and you have microphone on off. You can do that for yourself and for others. You have the microphone uh, mute here as well. When you need to mute yourself, that's where you do it. Webcam off over here. And uh, that's pretty much it. You don't need uh, much else to be able to coordinate the Hangout while it's going on. Now, to promote your Hangout, you have this here, right here, embed. You have a YouTube address that is going to be where it's going to uh, lodge itself uh, live and once the replay is available. So this is one address that you can promote even before uh, the Hangout starts live, before you broadcast it. As soon as you start the Hangout, you get that YouTube link. But uh, what you also want to do to have more time to promote is to create a page or a blog post, however you want to do it. Just have a page where you say, nine. Uh, let's say in my case, I do a Hangout 9 p.m. Sunday evenings. Uh, just do um, a page promoting that even if there's no image yet. At 9 p.m., all they have to do is refresh it. Even before 9 p.m., when I'm in half an hour before, all I do is take this code here. It's an HTML code that you just embed in your post or your um, page. And that is what people are going to see live first of all, and once YouTube processes your video, the Hangout video, and has it available in archive, uh, you will be able to promote the same page or blog post as many times as you want because the embed code is going to be in there permanently. And um, the uh, Hangout has already been transferred into your YouTube channel, so it's there to be used. Now, what's really interesting about that also when you have a page or a post is that you have access to comments below, so people will be able to comment, they'll be able to like, and um, in a viral way, you'll be able to promote what's going on as well. What I have done is I have created one page where there's a rotation, there's always uh, the new uh, live uh, episode or the new live hangout that is always embedded half an hour before the show so that it's live at 9 p.m. Eastern and uh, the replay is there for a whole week. So you can, you know, just use your imagination, uh, come up with an idea that works for you to promote your own hangouts and it works great. Now, 
when you have this like this and your panelists are on, you can actually communicate with each other without ever going live. And for a private group, that can work very well. And all you have to do is close right here on the top right. You just exit, you close for everyone, and that's that. But when you are going live, all you have to do, and I am going to do this right now to show you as a test, is we're going to start the broadcast. As soon as you start, everybody is aware of the fact that they're starting, and it's posting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we go live. When we go live, anywhere that you have embedded the post will go live, and here we go. We are live. We are live on YouTube already we are live on any um, page where the embed code has been put in so this is the tutorial to help you become a leader by hosting your own hangouts now on this hangout particularly there is no panelist I'm alone I'm just creating this tutorial for you obviously but it's just as easy with your panelists as well so when you're ready to end the broadcast you just do end broadcast and that's all there is to it. You have your panelists still on the line. You can speak with them, close up, chat with them, whatever it is that you want to do before you close. But the broadcast is done. And I want to show you, actually, I have my YouTube uh, channel open and I want to show you what it looks like. Here you go. Hangout tutorial testing. It's right there. It's processing. The video shows it as black because my webcam was not working, but you would see like here, you would see an actual image going on. So Hangout tutorial testing is going to, is uh, being processed. Actually, it's probably already done because it was very short. So you have the, the video here and you can have the exact same thing uh, on your page wherever you decided to embed the tutorial the uh, the hangout I mean so um, that's pretty much it it's as simple as that um, it's a lot of fun to do as well and it's a way for you to step up your game when you're ready to share your content with your audience in a different way so I hope you liked it if you have any comments please don't hesitate let me know what you think of this tutorial bye bye guys oh uh, we're just gonna exit that and that's it we're all done so uh, I hope you liked it Send me your comments and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.